This is a condensed fragment from the fourth book of my memoirs, Trapped. This is the fourth book of the flashback series. I was trapped in the relationship with my mother. And this book uh, contains um, the search for my identity. I had no identity. In 2004, uh, I had a session with my therapist and he said, do you love your mother, Georgelina? Of course I love my mother, I say, but I don't feel anything. The choices are to feel horrible or to feel nothing. My mother loved me like no one has ever loved me. She put me up on a pedestal and worshipped me. And by worshipping me, she gave me the identity of a goddess. My mother worshipped me under one condition. I was to remain submissive. What a price to pay. I was a goddess locked in a golden cage with invisible walls. A luxurious cage for it was cushioned with my mother's love, her adoration, her nurturing, her care. Yet the lethal requirement stood there, submission. My mother's love gave me an identity, separating from her, challenging her. My identity was threatened. I needed her love to have a sense of self. My mother's love sustained me, it filled me up, it gave me life, yet it was toxic love for as it fed me, it depleted me. It was a love that wanted me for herself, a love that alienated me, stifling my ability to separate and become my own person. Such was the force field I had to challenge in order to begin the journey in search of my true self, the force field of a powerful, all-embracing, self-serving love. What am I without my mother's love? Without her love, I am nothing. I have nothing. Terror. Terror of being a nothingness that has nothing. I had to break free from her need from her grip, I had to break out of my golden cage. And so I did. And step by step, I gave up my identity of goodness incarnate. I gave up my source of nurturing and I became a nothingness. I became worse than nothingness for the self-love I had experienced being worshipped by her and the guilt that festered for abandoning her, all turned into self-hatred, and self-hatred makes one feel one is the scum of the earth. I was 36 years old when I finally began to rebel. Years and years consumed by self-hatred, endurance, resiliency, doing whatever it takes to find my true self, to pursue my dreams, to fulfill my potential. Looking back, I don't know how I made it this far. I just don't know how I made it. And an inner voice that came through writing in very long conversations that continued for many years that are actually the foundation for my, my inspirational writing. This inner voice said, I know how you made it, baby. You kept walking with all your dramas, with all your traumas, with all your fears and tears, with all your sadness, your loneliness, your despair, all bruised and wounded. You kept walking one little step in front of the other and nothing has ever stopped you. Nothing has ever stopped you. Mm -hmm.